Oh, look at this. I finally got an upgrade to my gear. I was using that same cheapo $40 setup that I purchased that was a kit. Came with flies, all sorts of crap. Uh, so here we go. We got us a Wright and McGill large arbor reel uh, set up for, it's, for, it's a 5.6. So I'm using it for a 6 weight. And I got the Fenwick Eagle in a 6 weight as well. 9 footer. And I, I just used the the line that came with the other cheap uh, cheap setup just so I can get a feel for how this is. And then I'm also going to purchase some good line. Check that out. Oh, Smallmouth looked right past it. I completely ignored the... The other fish that was here was a little guy. It was a pike minnow. Damn. There he is. Nice little small mouth. Comes and checks it out. Let's see if I can move it with a little bit of speed if they'll do anything. No, doesn't seem to attract him anymore. I got my eye on him though. I'm gonna go throw the. I got a deceiver on here, which is supposed to work good on them. But this guy's kind of small. He's like ten inches or less. I kind of lost him. I think he's right about there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Not too big for him, I think. Don't want nothing to do with it. I'm gonna put something a little smaller on. Still have not landed a smallmouth yet been my goal oh there's a decent oh there it is here it is boom got him there's <laughs> a pike minnow i think uh, yeah went right for it too yeah look at that guy oh shit now i got drag I really didn't have drag, I had to click him, click him, Paul thing. Yeah, look at this guy. Woo, it's a kicker. First big fish or decent fish on my rod and reel setup, new setup. Yeah, look at this guy. Is that a hard head? I think it's a hard head. It's a decent hard head if it is. There it is. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Nice. I wasn't sure I was going to get him or not. I saw him coming for it. Ooh, fatty. I think we're gonna keep this guy as well. Especially if it's a hard head. Pike minnow, I don't know. 
already have a decent pike man now. Goisaku. But our uh, hard heads are, uh, they don't get much bigger than this guy right here. Let's see if it's ready. Nope. Ooh, so much power. Wow. <laughs> These things are crazy. I love them. And it's a trash fish, and they're just so amazing for the fish. I did eat that one hardhead at back uh, out here a couple weeks back, and it was pretty good tasting. I thought it was a pike minnow, but I was still learning what the fish are. It was actually really good. And it wasn't full of bones because it wasn't a pike minnow, <laughs> which was great. Oh, this is a monster. This is a good fish. Oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah, this is my PB uh, um, hardhead, too, if it's a hardhead. If it's a pike minnow, our one last week was our personal best at 26 inches. This thing's probably like 14, 16 inches. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can see what it is. Whoa! <laughs> so much power. Love it. Come on, guy. Whoop, whoop. Let's check you out. Let's see what you got. Oh, every time I try to bring it in, it says nope. Finally have drag. Loving it. All right, it's just a big pike minnow, so we're not going to go with taco it. Not that we don't like catching these guys but we already have a 26 inch and this guy's not 26 inches or bigger so i don't want to keep them let's get them off and uh, get another fish on all right let's get them for here oh, come on guy Let me show you, y'all. I've been in a habit of not uh, showing you guys my catches. I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I just, I take a picture usually. All right, there's this guy. Oh, he's like 20 inches. This thing's a gas pellet crazy when they're out of water. There you go. Came right out. Back to the water. Back to the water with you. Ooh, there was a decent fish right there that moved away from it. I don't know what it was. Oh, oh, got him. Yeah, don't know what it is. It's acting totally different. Hopefully it's a freaking smallmouth. Yeah. Oh, it's a pike or a hardhead. Woo. -hoo. Oh, it swallowed it deep. Shit. I think it's a little uh, hardhead. Cool. First fish on the setup. Oops. Drag right. Cool. This ain't that big of a fish, and it could be that much of a fight. Bring it over this log. Using barbless, so I gotta keep it tight. Yeah, it's a hard head.
came right up for it too. Cool, I wasn't sure if they were gonna go for this bait. This uh, ugly, ugly bug. All right, so here we go, we got a hard head. You can tell it's a hard head because the lip doesn't separate. There'd be a huge separation right here, completely all the way around, and the lip would be on like on a separate thing. But this is not like that. So this is a hard head versus a pike minnow. All right, let's release them. There we go. Loving those barbless. I can barbless. It's really easy to get it off, get it out of the fish. All right, so that's two so far today. Let's get another one. And that one was on this ugly bug. And our other fish, our other uh, fish, that pike minnow, it was on a Deceiver. And both these baits I brought to try to get smallmouth with, which is funny. I haven't fished a woolly bugger or a leech yet today. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Something Fishy. We are checking out our new pull and uh, reel, and I'm really liking it. It's a good combination, especially for these bigger fish. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be too flimsy, but it seemed to work out all right. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.